lecturer at Potomac View Elementary. Maybe you've seen me around. This is a picture of potato. Now we all know potatoes are delicious. We can bake them, we can mash them, and oh yes, we can even fry them. But today, the potato is going to teach us a lesson. Lesson? Hmm. What's a lesson? Good question. A lesson is something that the story wants to teach the reader. Now, how is the potato going to teach us a lesson exactly? Well, let's read and find out. Potato Pants by Lori Keller. This story is read and recorded with the permission of Macmillan Publishing Company. Potato Pants. Potato is excited. That's why he's doing the robot. I call it the po-bot because I'm a potato. He's excited because today, for one day only, Lance Vance's fancy pants store is selling potato pants. <laughs> now, Potato knows every tater in town will want a pair. So he's there early because, like the sign says, once they're gone, they're gone. I want a stripy pair, just like the ones in the window, with stripy suspenders for added stripiness. What's this? Potato is upset. Uh, that is why he stopped doing the robot. He's upset about the eggplant who just walked into Lance Vance's fancy pants store. What's he doing here? Eggplants don't even wear pants. Uh, yesterday was eggplant pants day. Potato won't go into Lance Vance's fancy pants store now because of that eggplant. That eggplant is nothing but trouble! Yesterday, I was walking along, minding my own potatoey business, out of my way, pa! When he ran by me and pushed me right into a trash can. If he sees me in Lance Vance's fancy pants store, he'll push me again and ruin my brand new potato pants. Oh, poor potato. It's not easy for him to watch all the other potatoes walk by in their new potato pants. <laughs> I love my potato pants. We love ours, too. Yeah, mine have polka dots and ruffles. Mine have big pockets. Uh, and mine are scratchy. I mean, need some uh, potato underpants. Potato is losing his patience, waiting for that eggplant to leave. Lance Vance's fancy pants store. Oh, what's taking him so long? And if yesterday was eggplant pants day, why is he here on potato pants day? Hmm, potato pants day? That's ridiculous. Potatoes don't even wear pants. It's not ridiculous, grocery store lady. Ooh, the grocery store. Ah, they have potatoes. Maybe they got potato pants too. What a clever potato. He figured out a way to avoid that eggplant and still get his potato pants. Hello, grocery store. Do you have any potato pants? Uh, potato pants? Yeah, you know, pants that are made for potatoes. Uh, we don't have potato pants. Well, maybe in your store you call them something more like a spud slacks, tater trousers, yam chaps. Any of those ring a bell? Heck, I could probably squeeze myself into a pair of cucumber cords if I had to. Do you have any cucumber cords? Oh, uh, sorry, sir. No clothing here. Just food. Potato is not giving up. He's sure that there's a way to get potato pants without having to face that eggplant. Oh, think, think, 
Think! Don't panic. I still have time. Actually, you don't have much time. There's only one pair of potato pants left on the rack. <gasps> only one pair of potato pants left on the rack? What will Potato do now? Potato pants! Only one pair left! Out of my way! Oh, what a brave Potato! He's not going to let that eggplant stop him from getting the last pair of Potato pants on the rack. Potato pants! Where are they? I need Potato pants! Bam! Yikes! Potato may be in for more trouble than he bargained for after that entrance. Oh no, Potato is too late. <gasps> Where are they? Sorry, I got the last pair on the rack. Okay, okay, Potato, let's take a minute here. Come on, deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. That's it. Think of the puffy clouds. Inhale, exhale. Oh, forget it. This is exhausting. Let it out, potato. That eggplant ruined everything. It's his fault I didn't get potato pants. He has brand new, perfect eggplant pants, but I'm totally pantless. It's not fair. Actually, his eggplant pants aren't perfect anymore. You hit him with a door and they ripped all the way up the back. Oh, you can see for yourself. Here he comes. Oh, Potato. It's been nice knowing you. I've been looking for you, Spud. Potato is scared. If he had potato boots, he'd be shaking in them. I came back here to do what I should have done yesterday. What? Turn me into a mashed potatoes? I'm here to apologize. I'm sorry I pushed you. I was in a hurry to get these eggplant pants. I hope you'll forgive me. What? He's not turning me into mashed potatoes? Potato is shocked. His starchy little head is spinning. Forgive him? Why should I forgive him? He pushed me into a trash can. Uh, but I ripped his brand new eggplant pants. Ugh, I don't know what to do. So, will Potato forgive that eggplant or not? I forgive you, eggplant. And I'm sorry for ruining your new eggplant pants. Excuse me, uh, we can fix your eggplant pants and they'll be good as new. And the sale is over so you can have the potato pants and the mannequin in the window. Do you like those? Like them? I love them! Now that is one stripy potato. Potato's favorite thing about his new potato pants besides their stripy stripiness, is that they also make great robot pants. Pobot pants. Eggbot pants. The end. Now that we're done reading, I have two questions for you. Question one. What lesson did you learn from this story? Question two, if you were a potato, what kind of pants would you want? Thanks for listening.